In this video, I'm gonna upgrade a Samsung S5 Plus uh, from the official stock firmware all the way to Android 9. There is official development thanks to Lineage OS for this phone. However, there is a little uh, thing that you need to know. Uh, your bootloader, you must keep it. And uh, we're not gonna do a clean install just like with uh, the other phone. Uh, we're not gonna wipe the complete internal away, nothing like that. What we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna do a dirty flash, meaning we're just gonna do a normal wipe and then flash the ROM on top of the previous ROM. So we still keep uh, the bootloader um, and the necessary parts that will let you make a phone call with this thing. Because if you're gonna upgrade it to Android 9, then you still want to make phone calls, right? So that's why this is and if you want to do a fully clean install um, by wiping the complete drive that is as well possible but then you must download the original firmware for this phone so if you still have the ROM somewhere you know get it and then you must copy the modem and the bootloader to the phone uh, so you will then be able to you know use uh, all these essential parts effect that make this thing a phone so that's it so how to get started again we're gonna check in the developers options if the um uh, the um bootloader is unlocked but i checked and i could not find any uh, um bootloader lock in here uh, that possibility is not even in there so yeah i think we're good to go uh, we're gonna flash twerp 323 uh, and that is for the KCC86. That is the code name of this phone. And for my Dutch people, hold on. Nederlandse mensen, als je de S5 Plus uh, ook nog hebt, moet je eventjes uh, goed opletten. Um, want we gaan deze telefoon updaten van Android 6 naar Android 9. We are with the phone we're gonna reboot the phone this seems to be a problem with the the power button and now it's working again i just cleaned it a bit and it's working again so we're gonna reboot the phone and we're gonna reboot it into a download mode volume down home and as well press power you see that we're now in a recovery mode so we hit volume up one once and then um, yeah I would as well put the back cover so the battery does not fall out whenever you gonna flash the twerp okay you need your USB cable again like this and you will need to connect it to the phone you already have the USB Samsung the Samsung USB drivers installed and you already downloaded the twerp from the link in my description all right so you have that all then now you're ready to run Odin and there is it Odin 3.11 and as you can see again the COM port 7 is connected okay let me show that really good to you okay so COM port 7 is connected and yeah my cam is not filming so nice we're just gonna go ahead and select the twerp for kcc kcc 80 again we're gonna be quick hold the volume up put your finger on the home and press them both and when you see the blue light here you let go the moment you see the logo now we're gonna go into twerp you see we just installed twerp now we're gonna wipe a normal wipe just like this this is a factory reset so that means the old android is still on the phone the bootloader and the modem etc so now we're gonna go ahead and install um i need to see if windows will find the phone or if this phone again will not be found in the recovery 
you can mount everything there EFS uh, disable MTP and then enable MTP and I see no hard drive popping up so again this will be an installation that will be done uh, from off a USB stick okay because the computer won't find it so you will need a micro USB card uh, in the phone uh, with the files uh, on it the lineage OS 17 uh, yeah I mean 16 sorry for that the lineage OS 16 okay the file is copied to the USB stick and we're gonna put it into the OTG uh, hub from Maxer, jawohl Maxer, again credits to you and to the action, the leukste shop van Groningen, that is uh, one of my slogans for the action. So we did a wipe, right? So we now just gonna install from the USB again, from the OTG then, in this case, and we should find Lineage OS, KCC, let's see where it is, blah, 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 blah. Lineage OS, Tilapia Grouper, Casey Cat, there it is, and we're just gonna flash it. And at this point, we're uh, keeping our uh, bootloader, the bootloader that comes with this phone, so you don't have to go and extract. But if you messed up, uh, you will find a complete uh, tutorial at the XDA side of this uh, developer, and then uh, yeah, you will be able to repair your phone back to then uh, install Lineage OS on top of these uh, two bootloaders. So you're then first gonna flash the modem and the bootloader and um, then in fact then uh, let me think what you should do then. And then uh, you put the phone into a download mode again and then you flash twerp. You go into a recovery mode and then you simply flash Lineage OS. But that is only if you're gonna as well wipe the internal storage, okay? So this is what we call a dirty flash. Well, it's not that dirty, but it's it's kind of dirty, okay? And I have a SIM card here, so we will be able to test to see if that all works. So let's reboot the device. I'm not gonna install my mod yet. I'm just gonna boot the device into Lineage OS. Of course, I'm not gonna let you look at the booting. Uh, I'll get back to you as soon as we see some activity. Let's wait for the boot animation. Let's see what's gonna happen. And there we go. We're booting Android 9 on the Samsung Galaxy S5. And uh, now yeah, we're just gonna let it boot and I'll get back to you as soon as this is done. It's already done. That is unbelievable. We could just look at it. I did not have to pause the video. The moment I paused the video, the thing uh, was there. So this went, uh, this went very, very fast. So that means, you know, hey, wait, one back. Is the Wi-Fi working? Yes, Wi-Fi is working. Cellular data, of course, there won't be no surface. Look, my eyes are just holograms. No SIM card, it's saying. Okay, and we're just gonna hit next, and then boom. And one more, and start. And there we go, we just installed Lineage OS 16. And now the phone is as well prepared to receive Android 10 whenever that will come out for this phone you see that this is the 901 F Android version 9 with the latest security updates and this phone was left behind on Android 6 very very sad but very very good from Lineage OS to you know give this thing a brand new Android version um, that is supported with the security patches 
of uh, November 5, 2019. Yeah. And as you can see, this phone was left behind officially on security patches from 2017. So this is a big improvement for this phone. Eh? So um, let's see if we can, uh, this as well works fine. We were in the settings. Let's go one back and let's go to the about the phone again. And then uh, the Android 9s, no, um, where do we do that? I'm a little bit unknown now. Uh, Android 9, and, uh, yeah, okay, Android version is 9. The build number, of course, this is all the way at the bottom. One more and one more. So enable developers options. You will find it in system. All the way down here, developers options. And we're gonna turn on advanced reboot so I don't have to do crazy things to go into a recovery mode. I don't, don't have to press these buttons all the time. It's not good for these buttons to press them too much. Agreed? So we're going into a recovery mode again because now I'm gonna flash my mod. And I'm gonna flash a strange mod. Uh, it's the mod that I in fact made for my tablets. Oh, I must connect the OTG, I forgot again. So let's do that real fast. It's my Ham International mod. My car PC mod. OTG, and it's connected, there we go. It's called the Car Boat Ham Radio Blah Blah mod. It's all good. It's installing all my applications, including two stores. The eStore and um, APK Pure, and even a crazy boot animation that will represent some ham radio. Not sure if that boot animation will work. It was not created for the S5. It will probably look ridiculous, but let's take a look at that. I remember okay this is so cool no no I fixed it this is not uh, the ham mod anymore yes it contains the applications but I changed the boot animation oh look at that mm, mm, mm. yeah well so we have uh, Tribuchet we have the Nova launcher and the car PC launcher I'm gonna go for the Nova launcher just because I can and because I you know love the Nova launcher Nova is like my family you know that is like my family that is, you know, it's family, man. You don't ignore your family, right? Just like Lineage OS as well, my family. Delete. And we can go ahead and set up the whole thing. You, you know the story, right? I don't have to show that all, otherwise this video is gonna get way too long again. I'm always dreaming away in the systems. But here you can see we have YouTube. Um, who's on my Wi-Fi, XDA, uh, Finil, that's a very good uh, audio player, uh, recorder, of course, uh, scanner radio, we have uh, TXRX, that is RXTX, that is uh, my ham radio, in fact, I wanted this thing, you know, see, so yeah, I have all my applications with me, uh, if you want this mod, you will have to request it, okay? Just let me know if you want it, then I will I will put the link. If I see that some people, you know, want this mod, because in fact this mod was created for tablet. Um, but the coolest of this mod is that uh, after you set it up your your um, your launcher, the Nova launcher, you will as well have the possibility to use the car PC part of this of this ROM. Okay, that is the application that I pushed in as well. A nice application that you can you know use to navigate um, yeah you can download uh, some some application I'm gonna push out a video one of these days uh, about good navigators for for Android there is one that I want you to know and I'm gonna show that one because it's the very best in the world for Android I think okay so um, yeah this is the car PC part uh, you have a good recorder in here and if you hit the home again, then you will get back into your 
phone part and this is powered by Nova. Okay, quick look at uh, the phone before we're gonna go back to the studio. Um, here you can see that I'm connected. I even got a little message from Leica Mobile here saying dear customer welcome and blah 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 so i'm very happy thank you so much like a mobile so i can confirm that uh yeah the phone works it works fine so yeah go ahead and test it out and let me know if it as well works good for you all right remember the things that i told you about uh, the bootloader and the modem remember it Go read about it uh, at the XTA so you don't mess up. Otherwise, probably the phone part won't work. And then you're just gonna have some pocket PC. <clears throat> and I think a pocket PC is as well a great uh, uh, thing to, to have. So if you already have a, another phone, you know, you could use this phone as a pocket PC. And to navigate and to do all sorts of things. You know, even make phone calls. Tja, so that's it. Back to the studio. Well, that was it, my friends. We again had a successful project with this phone. And yeah, you can see there's a big crack. I'm not sure if you can really see it, but there's a big crack in the screen. It's very hard to see. So I gifted some fake uh, yeah, protection, to say it this way. Uh, it's protection for an iPhone. I just put it on top and it worked. So um, yeah, that's it. Um, try it out for me. Uh, it kind of works good. Um, yeah, of course, I will see if there are any issues by using the phone and testing the phone. This thing is going to be my pocket PC for the coming days. And if there are any issues or so, I will write them down in, uh, in the description. So, but for now, this is it. Uh, go enjoy your Samsung S5 Plus on Android 9 and of course now it's as well Android 10 ready. If you like this video, uh, leave this video a thumbs up. Of course, subscribe to my channel if you did not already. And then I thank you for watching and, and then I love to see you in my next video again. Until then, stay well.